Hey everybody, it's Scott Simcoe Spring Service and today I'm going to be working on an old hutch suspension. Uh, it's actually got leaf springs in it. You don't see that very often anymore. So now that we got it jacked up, got the weight off of it, I'm actually going to cut these uh, restrictor bolts out of here. And we're going to cut the U-bolts off. And once I get them off, then we can literally just pick the spring up and slide it right out of there and put the new ones in. It's quite a simple job, actually. We'll show you exactly how we do it. That's a lot of garbage. Pretty clean. And that is why we replace them in pairs. Because this one's way taller than the old one. I'm gonna jack it up a titch. And a restrictor bolt. Well, like it never sees on it.
Okay. You grab a uh, air gun and a socket. Oh, we did. So we'll give this a quick tighten. So we don't actually tighten it. We put a lock nut on there so we can just squeeze it together just a tiny, tiny little bit just so it's not loose. And it's just to prevent the spring from falling out when you jack it up or if you go over a lot of rough terrain, springs don't pop out of the hangers. So they're just there to kind of that was a good enough explanation. Perfect. So now that that's in, we're going to switch to the other side, do the exact same thing, and I'll show you a time lapse of that. I'm going to tighten the U-bolt and they're three quarters so they get tightened uh, roughly around 450 foot-pounds. That's what this air gun will do. So if you're using this as an instructional video on how to install these leaf springs, make sure that whatever you do you tighten the U-bolts incrementally. A little bit, and then a little bit more, and then keep going around and around and around until you finally get up to the final tighten. If you gotta go around it like eight, 10 times, it's like flipping a steak. You don't wanna burn it one side, have it on the other side. Just keep, keep going around and around and around until it's uh, nice and evenly tightened on every single point. So I've had a couple people comment on my videos that says I make it look real easy. And the thing is, I've been doing this for 20 years. I probably installed about 150 to 200 of these springs over the years and got really good at it. So what I actually do is I pre-plan every single move before I even start the vehicle. So when I get to the vehicle, there's no surprises. There's no, no unknown expectations. And I think that's what you're supposed to do when you get experience is you're supposed to know it so well that you can actually predict every single thing before it even happens. Now you can get surprised sometimes, but I guess when you get experienced enough, you can just kind of predict what's going to happen in a vehicle. Um, you kind of know what to look for. There's telltale signs that you can kind of spot ahead of time. And that's why to me, it's really important for me to do a thorough inspection before I start the vehicle. So I don't get surprises anymore. So. So if you have any comments or questions, put it down below in the comments and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And I'll catch you next time. All right, have a good day. Bye.